Hello friends, welcome to Electro Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is our lecture number 16 of our free course on ETAP. In today's lecture, we will see the example of transform sizing using ETAP. That means we can take an example and perform the transform sizing using ETAP. In previous lecture, we have studied about the various standards which are governing the transform sizing and various sectors on which the transform sizing depends. And in today's lecture, we will perform an, an example, we will take an example and perform the transform sizing on ETAP. In this lecture, we will take this example. You can see this is the grid and this is a 33 kV bus and this is a 1 MV transformer and this is 11 kV bus and these are the loads. Here, three types of loads are one is the this, this is the induction motor and it is continuous in operation and this is another induction motor and this is a CPR and this is a lump of load. In motor, we have under this data that is KVA rating, C means continuous, I intermediate and S means superior, percentage load factor, number of cones, efficiency at 100 degree at 100%, 75% and 50% and percentage full load slip and percentage power factor at 100%, 75% and 50 and LRC that is Locker total current percentage and locker total current power factor percentage. These data I will show where you can enter, how you can enter in that example. Let us start the example. This is our example. You can see, first of all, we can go to the transformer and we have entered the rating of the transformer. Sorry, here you will have to enter 33 kV primary side and second side is ionic kV. The rating of transfer what is 1 MVA and we have taken typical X by R and Z ratio. Then we have entered the motor data. This is the motor data here on the name palette. You have entered the kV rating, kW rating voltage rating and percentage power factor that is 95, 88, 87 and percentage efficiency 95, 93, 91 number of folders 2 and SNP is 0 0.87 and the loading factor that is the one minute I will show and loading factor is 90 and Go to the M page and you can enter here LRC percentage LRC and percentage uh, power factor at LRC and click OK. Before clicking OK, you can select here. You can select here continuous, intermediate, and superior. OK. Same is the case with the this one motor induction motor 91 kilowatt. And this is a number of load. On clicking on the number of load, you will go to the name palette. Here you can enter the MVA rating and the power factor and it calculates other things by default that is M megawatt MVAR it calculates by itself and click OK. Now you have learned about how we enter the motor data in the induction motor on ETA. Now we will perform the load flow analysis. According to my, in my view, according to me, it should give an alert that the transformer is overloaded because the transformer is of 1 MVA and the load is greater than 1 MVA. So we can perform the load flow analysis and see the results. <laughs> okay, we have got two uh, notifications. We had our two alerts. One, this is the red color. That is, this transformer is some alert, and this bus is also in red color. That means it also has some alert. Now we will see what are the alerts. Click on the alert view. You can see bus two. That is, this two bus is under voltage. 
and D1, that is this trust power is overloaded. And you can operating uh, is 9.578 and that operating is 3.21. That is percentage of operation is under what is 88.7% and this overloaded 321.3%. Okay. Now we have to for further transfer of size. So we can click, double click on the transfer and go to the sizing page. And here there are two options. One is operating and another is connected. So we can go for the connected and you will see we have got the results. This is a larger size of the transfer which you have to command this and it's a required size and this is a smaller size. If we take the short circuit into analysis, then these parameters are changed. This is the altitude factor, altitude of 100 meters and ambient temperature. Now, if we go for the operating, then the, also you can see there is some slight change in the parameters in the results. So, we can select here what size you want. Suppose we 3.3 uh, is not a standard size. Even I have not seen the 4 MVA transfer, we have seen 1 MVA, 2, 2 MVA and 5 MVA. Suppose it will be a standard size if a manufacturer provides you. Suppose you will consider that and we will set the large size. And you will see here the rating of the transfer has changed to 4 MVA. First it was 1 MVA, now it is 4 MVA. And click now perform again the load flow analysis and see the results. Now this is a black color that means the load has gone. Now the transparent section and then it's not overloaded. Now there is one alert signal remaining that is this alert. A bus. We will see what will the alert this under voltage. Now we have to perform also something we have to do to with the transformer so that we can get that we can remove this alert so we can double click here and go to the taping and in the taping we will select the primary of percentage taping 5 and click primary OL, ltc and click ok now we will see and uh, perform again the load flow analysis and see the results okay now the alert has gone you can see it's 96.22 percent. First it was uh, 83. After performing the uh, transfer thing, it was 90. Now it is 96. Now there is no alert. All the alerts has been gone. Well, our transfer of sizing is completed. Thank you.